Buenos dias and welcome to Mexico. I'm Craig Ford, the Australian Trade and Investment Commissioner to Mexico, covering the region of Central America and the Caribbean. I'm also Austrade co-lead for the education sector for the LATAM region, where we have business development staff in the six big markets, Mexico, Colombia, Peru, Chile, Brazil and Argentina. Today I'd like to share some updates and trends about the education sectors from this region that might help shape your organisation's engagement with LATAM. So three messages about Latin America and education. As students start to move from LATAM, this region continues to offer opportunities for Australia and there continues to be ongoing interest in Australia as well. The region has familiar competition, many of the competitive advantages that allow Australian providers to have strong market positions in other regions are also transferable to LATAM. A region of misperceptions that Australia needs to overcome to continue to effectively operate here. Those misperceptions in LATAM are often formed by a lack of awareness about Australia and they lead to Australia not being adequately considered amongst our competitors as a research partner or study location. So about Latin America and education in Australia, the region was worth 2.3 billion in education exports to the Australian economy in 2019. The growth rate from 2004 to 2019 was the fastest of any other education export region. Right now, Colombia and Brazil have the fifth and sixth largest student populations in Australia. However, we know these numbers are dominated by VET and Alicos, and there is a much lower representation of higher education. In fact, Australia had just 3% higher education market share in LATAM in 2018. Some of the factors which make VET and Alicos successful can be transferable to higher education. There's certainly an increasing recognition of Australia as a study destination, but we still have some work to do to properly capitalise on pathways, particularly Alicos, and convert a broad awareness of Australia to in-depth knowledge about the quality of education systems, including in regional areas in Australia. So where to compete in LATAM? So new and emerging providers to the region could be forgiven for thinking that Brazil and Colombia are primary points of entry and further market development could result from there. The reality, however, is that we have six unique markets that offer different opportunities based on what the Australian provider is bringing here. The COVID environment has forced more education interaction online. This also provides us the opportunity to look beyond major cities to explore niches and engage with partners and agents in new areas based on demand and supply fit. So now is a good time to start exploring those lesser developed regions and our education team here can, in LATAM can tell you a little bit more about that. As for competition, I mentioned there's familiar competition, so it's important to understand who in the region we are best to compete and position ourselves against. Clearly, students going to institutions in Spain, Portugal, and parts of the US with high Spanish-speaking populations, well, those locations and institutions are gonna be very difficult to compete against. Often, students are going there for family, culture, or language reasons. However, we can compete on fairly equal terms with institutions from Canada, Ireland, the UK. And increasingly we're seeing English language programs in Western Europe are attracting a good number of students from LATAM. And that is a fair market share for us to position ourselves against. Now for the top five recent trends for Latin America that shape marketing and engagement. First, well, it's hard to go past the question of affordability. We're often asked onshore in Australia, can Latin American students afford us? Well, the answer is yes. The fact is that Latin students continue to choose higher cost destinations in Australia. Austrade, DFAT and DESI recently commissioned an Ernest & Young report which investigated the reasons why Colombian students didn't choose Australia as a higher destination. destination. Uh, the report, which we believe is transferable to other markets in LATAM, and highlighted the misperception that Australia is more expensive when in fact the, re the, the report showed Australia as less expensive in real terms against our key competitors. A second trend, there continues to be a low awareness in LATAM of the academic quality in Australia. More work needs to be done by ourselves and others uh, to continue to communicate the depth and diversity of academic quality across Australia. The third trend is the online revenue model. In this region, we are seeing providers from other markets come in quite aggressively with very low cost offerings online. 
for later in-country study. Now, while students are becoming used to studying from home, there is a lower price expectation for the online component. So the message for Australian providers is sure, have your technology infrastructure in place, but give some thought as to time zone for live class and critically, an attractive starting price point for online. The fourth trend is regional unrest. And, and unfortunately, this region has had some unrest even preceding COVID-19. That unrest has translated to opportunity as students and parents actively plan for long-term brighter futures outside their country. So the lesson for Australian providers is stay tuned to regional unrest because instability can often lead to, uh, can often accelerate uh, study location resource commitments. So the fifth and last trend is a really important point in bridging the cultural divide. From LATAM, Australia is perceived as unfamiliar and too far away. It's not well known here in LATAM that Australia has large and diverse Latin American communities particularly from students in Brazil, Colombia, and many other countries. Australian providers should now talk about the study, employability, and quality of life benefits that these communities bring in supporting new students to settle and thrive in Australia. Thank you again for your time. I do appreciate it. Please do reach out to myself or any one of our Austrade Latin America team to connect and to learn more about our programs and the support we provide.